Solutions Kenya project is a project which has been set up uh, three years ago um, with the aim to make available Dutch greenhouse technology for small and medium-sized uh, Kenyan vegetable growers. We think that there is a very good future for vegetable growing in Kenya uh, and especially in greenhouses because it makes it possible for you to better plan your production and it also will limit the uh, weather effects on your production. So you will have less problems with diseases and this is uh, one of the main problems which farmers at this moment face in Kenya. Maybe I also need to take this opportunity to welcome you here because I'm, I'm part of La the Latia community on the agribusiness solutions and managed here, but I also double up as the overall marketing manager for Latia. When asked the question, who will you be marketing your farm produce to? Many farmers, not just me, I know I've put the right deal there, but not just me, many farmers will tell you anyone who is willing to buy. Um, if you're transporting the produce from Eldoret, would the quality not be compromised with that transport? We allow farmers, uh, such a big farmers, they got their own uh, transportation rules. They pack it on their tomatoes in crates. Once you pack your tomatoes in crates, they will not them. They will be safe and uh, they will not be not. Are your prices competitive? The buying prices? Uh, pricing will depend with the uh, time because uh, when, the, when, when the product is not there, you expect the price to go up. When there is a lot of produce, you expect the, uh, the price to go down. So prices vary from season to season. Kenyan vegetables are full of chemicals. That is something you cannot hide. So we need to know that whatever you're consuming, apart from what you're consuming from our greenhouse in Latia, <laughs> it will be terribly harming our lifestyle. We may think we are eating well, but we are eating chemicals. So we need to start working on food safety. Right now, the concept of green farming or greenhouse farming, unfortunately using tunnels, not uh, greenhouses, because now we've all been to the greenhouse, we know the difference between a greenhouse and a tunnel. So when you go out there, please preach the language, you know, grow in greenhouse, you grow in tunnels. This is the greenhouse now, proper greenhouse. <laughs> they say you as growers, it is your responsibility. I'll repeat, you as farmers, it is your responsibility to ensure that whatever you put for sale is safe. So empower yourself with information. Don't wait until the jacks of this world or the jengigis of this world come out to you. Go to the Huduma centers, they're all over the place. Uh, go to any government office for information and I'm sure they will direct you if they don't have information. <coughs> Our government is not as bad as we like to, to pretend it to be. And I, I really encourage you, those of you who are growing fruits and vegetables, Botiso is going to be speaking next. Get in touch with him. Join the Fresh Produce Exporters <coughs> Association of Kenya because it will be very useful for you to join your own peers. Somebody said that education is very expensive but uh, ignorance is even more expensive. Oh, standards are 
set of requirements for a particular service or product sold. Set of requirements. Right? How to produce it. These are the tenets of production very clearly done. For example, uh, in your application, you follow the PHI, you follow the safety precautions required in the application. Close to standards is traceability. Traceability is an aspect of one step back, one step forward. So traceability again ensures that you can be able to track down or track up what you are selling to your customers. So the main activities that we do is uh, the first one is the eco control, uh, natural pollination, uh, so soil, soil life, then consultancy and advice. By saying that uh, biologicals play an important role in pest management, which is true. The adoption of uh, integrated pest management strategies will also lead to sustainable management of the pest. And eventually, this will lead to reduction in residues on produce that will lead to better health for consumers and even the workers that are working with it. So, the chemicals that I apply should be possible to drink by myself. It's not allowed to drink it today, it's not. That good, but it is an indication it are not the things who are toxic and killing and etc. Spray soft chemicals. Number four, also on my checklist, it's very easy. Don't hit your major tomatoes. They are hanging down, not in between the leaves, only hit your leaves. Spray with the right pressure. And the indication is this, when you are spraying in this line, you need to see a little bit uh, water moisture coming to the next line. Then you know that you are covering the whole drop. And of course this is not the last field day which we will organize in our project. This the 7th of June will be the next field day of our project. So please fix that already in your agenda. You will be informed later on by email or SMS about the exact content of the program. Uh, last but not least, I'd like to thank all the people of Latvia for their support for all the preparatory works, for organizing the food and the drinks. So please also give a applause for Latvia's time.